Okay, y'all, let's try this. I, I have no idea how this is going to work. I can't hear myself, so I don't know why I'm even doing that. Well, because when, when I, uh, some of the songs that I'm going to try and play are, are I kind of need to hear them a little bit, but uh, we'll get through that in a second. I just wanted to let y'all know that the Rogue, camera's over there, the Rogue is alive. It's, sorry, the Rogue is alive. And, um, yeah, man, that, uh, Remember, the, uh, the problem was right here. One thing that I was super surprised about this guitar after I had done the uh, fretwork and everything, because I uh, apparently hadn't even touched it. When I started doing work, I was like, oh, snap. I never even touched damn thing. So, um, yeah, I'm actually surprised the strings are still. I saved the strings because I'm cheap for them. They, they weren't that bad, so um, uh, they, they they could definitely use a refresh. But um, they sound okay for, for what it is right now. And uh, what it is right now, the thing that I was surprised most about is that this thing is like an 80s cheese machine, man. It, like, it, 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 that's what it wants to play. It's like, the first, I seriously, when I sat down and I, and I just started with stuff, I was like... stuff like you know just stuff like that and then you can you gotta slow yourself down man this thing almost plays itself it's like no pressure The, the action is not as low as it can go and or low as it actually probably should be because it, it is still going just slightly up a little bit so it's like i could get this down lower but do i want to oh my god i wouldn't be able to i wouldn't have to do anything i'd be, I'd be, I'd be like looking at it i would like those chords played please and you know, like that you know this thing is like just i mean you put your fingers just over the frets and it, it wants to play you know so it's I don't know how much I'll play this just because I'm totally not a shredder um, and uh, totally respect them, but you know, can I do it? No, and I never actually wanted to, so I, I'm the guy who thinks Ingve Malmsteen needs to slow the heck down because dude just by and I think he's slowed down and it, when he was younger, man, that's all I thought he ever wanted to do was just Ingve Malmsteen's head. Fast, 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 fast. I want to see how many notes I can fit into the song. Dude, slow down. Put some feeling into it, you know? And uh, I, I think actually Steve, I think Steve Vai has done that. Uh, he went on tour with Steve Vai and uh, Joe Satriani. And I think they both probably got that into him. That, uh, you know, if you slow down just slightly, put a little feeling into it, it sounds so much better. Yeah, you're fast, man. You're faster than anybody on the planet. But slow down. <gasps> So, you know, but, uh, so I, I, I respect, I just, it, it's like Malmsteen was one of those people that just completely turned me off to it because basically for, for his attitude and it's just like, you know, he was always like, screw you, I'm just playing fast. And it's like, no, dude, you don't get it, do you? But I think he's turned around. I think he's getting it now. And uh, technically he's amazing, but you know, I can't do it. Can't even come close. Um, my cross picking eye is probably okay. It's my left hand that is. <laughs> Anyways, I'm still learning, you know, and uh, maybe one day I'll get faster at it, and maybe one day I'll learn how to how to shred. But when I think personally, I need to learn how to start soloing first. So you know, um, master one thing first. I ain't got the chord part down yet, so um, I'm working on it. But uh, hopefully, y'all enjoyed the the rogue coming back. 
it was uh, it was fun to do. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, this is one of those ones that I actually probably would like to sell. And if I can remember how much I paid for it, that'd be cool. Because like I said, I forgot I even had it. I know I got a receipt around here somewhere. Um, this one I got from, I believe, Goodwill. So I should have a receipt around here somewhere. And I can always go back and look on their website because they're pretty good about keeping that stuff. Um, but yeah, man, this is a killer guitar. It was fun to fun to fix up. And these, these are the things that I'm looking for because... You know, this was definitely a diamond in the rough. It was just, it just needed a little love. That was it. And uh, it's back to, well, it's a little bit much for me, but, um, you know, it, it, somebody will have. Somebody will have a great time with how fast this thing is, man. It's just, for me, I, I need a little bit thicker strings and, a, you know. Because uh, I, my, with the way I play anyway, you know, I you probably heard some of the chords on this one. I think the strings are just too thin. And uh, I, when I play chords, sometimes my, I, I press too hard. I really do. That's why I'm having such a, a problem with this one is because you don't have to even touch it at all, and I press too hard. Uh, and I've been doing it my whole life. I've calmed down a lot, so um, I must show you how much I used to go just, Arr! you know. Um, but it's, it's super nice being able to play things without having to do that. Anyways, I think I'm rambling now. So I just wanted to, to, to say, hey, how y'all doing? Um, always look up. I think it's Sunday. Is it Sunday? There's football on TV. The Ravens. Huh. The Ravens are beating the Giants. Wow. I like that. Anyways, always look up. Sunday. He's there for you. I'll see you then. Peace.